Airbnb collapse is real. In 2024, Google revealed a dramatic increase in searches related to Airbnb. It's extremely consequential. It's Airbnb bust. The world is ending. The Airbnb market is absolutely collapsing. Travel demand in Vietnam is on the rise, with more people eager to explore new destinations. The Airbnb about to collapse. Many are wondering if this is the right time to start the Airbnb business. Is Airbnb booming or collapsing in Vietnam? Let's explore. What is Airbnb? Rather than purchasing a property and listing on Airbnb, essentially what you do is rent a property and sublease it on Airbnb with the landlord's legal and written agreement. Why Airbnb is booming in Vietnam? Firstly, increased travel demand. With tourism bouncing back, there is a surge in visitors looking for affordable and convenient accommodations. Secondly, high interest rates. Real estate investments are challenging due to high interest rates, making Airbnb a more appealing option for property owners. Korean hopes migration. As regulations tighten in Korea, more hosts are shifting their operations to Vietnam, adding to a competitive landscape. I'm not sure how Airbnb is working in your country, but in Vietnam, it's a different game ball. Many people are pouring money into Airbnb in Vietnam, but only a small fraction truly succeeds. Why? Is Airbnb collapsing in Vietnam? Or perhaps the better question is, what do successful Airbnb hosts in Vietnam know that the others don't? What are their secrets? If you are new to Airbnb, you probably already Google the basics, such as turning a fully furnished apartment into a cozy, yes, friendly space, choosing a location near tourist attractions, maintaining hygiene, cleanliness, and building good guest relations, conducting price research, and calculating the expected income. These are all crucial, but they are all the basics. Knowing them doesn't really guarantee success. The secret to succeed in Airbnb in Vietnam. Now, here is what I don't tell you online, but you will learn with me today. The Airbnb about to collapse. The very first thing, Airbnb will survive in Vietnam because the demand for affordable and easily accessible accommodations is high. However, the supply of quality Airbnb listings is shrinking. Why is supply shrinking? It's not about a lack of properties, because a lot of property owners don't want to rent out their properties to Airbnb hosts. Vietnam regulations aren't Airbnb friendly yet. When you rent an apartment in a residential building and turn it into an Airbnb, you actually introduce tourists into the neighborhood. This often causes the tensions with the residents who share the common amenities like gym, pool, and lobby spaces. So the longevity of your Airbnb business depends on how well you manage the resident relations. In some buildings like D1 Mansions or Zenity in District 1, there are fewer residents so there is less risk of conflicts. However, in others, residents can plan together to vote out the Airbnb operations. Alternately, you could consider renting the whole townhouse and self-operate it by yourself. However, there are other risks relating to operating the whole townhouse like that because you will need to deal with the police registration or the business registration and also the fire safety regulations which have been tightened up very carefully in Vietnam. So in summary, in order to succeed in Airbnb in Vietnam, mastering all of the essentials are crucial, but understanding the building regulations and resident dynamics is a must. Keep it simple and focus on the chemistry between your Airbnb and resident relations. That will tell how long your Airbnb business can last in this industry. If you enjoy this video, please like, comment, or share. Also, please subscribe. See you in the next one for the next Property Insights in Vietnam.